Hi everybody, welcome back to Bubble Pop Kids. So in front of me here, well first of all, you are gonna love this show if you love candy as much as I do. So usually I'm doing my candy bonanzas, but today we're doing something a little different. In front of me, I have tons and tons of candy. So many different kinds, gummy frogs, ooh, nuclear squirms. <laughs> Never tried those, we have some of these gummy raspberries. What else? Ooh, I love these sticklets. These chocolate coated candies are kind of like M&M's. We have some Mike and Ike cotton candy flavor. Ooh, sour spaghetti. But oh, here we go. We have Starburst Minis. I have never tried these before and they are unwrapped. Amazing. We have some Haribo Happy Cola. What else? Trolley Cherry Bombers. And look at these alphabet letter gummies. Even some swirly gummy bears. So usually when I'm doing my candy bonanzas, I taste each bag of candy at a time, tell you how good it tastes. But today we're doing something different. We are making our own do-it-yourself candy survivor box. And here it is. So a while back I did a video with a candy survivor box that I actually bought. It was pre-made, it had gumballs, nerds, tons of yummy candies. But it was super small, so I thought, why don't I buy this little organizer, open it up, and we can make our own with tons of different candies, even bigger than the last one. And this candy box has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 little compartments. We're going to try to put 17 different candies in here, and it's going to be awesome. And if you're unfamiliar with the Candy Survivor box, it's basically a plastic box just like this, filled with all your favorite candies and yummy treats. You can bring it on an airplane with you. You can bring it to summer camp wherever you like. Let's get started. Alrighty, so since I haven't tried out most of these candies, I'm gonna test them out and then drop them in the box. First up, we have these Haribo frogs. They're little gummy frogs, so cute. I don't know what flavor they are. I'm probably guessing either lime or green apple. We got a time. Oh, these are so funny looking. They really do look like those frogs. So on one side is green, the flip side is white, and actually on the other side, it is a marshmallow. <laughs> it looks amazing. Let's test it. Mmm, so yummy, so chewy, so it's definitely green apple flavored, not too sweet, not too sour, really good tasting. You could just stretch them out. Ah! They are so chewy, look at that inside, kind of looks like green jello. So, ooh, and the white side is actually marshmallow, it's <laughs> so, so delish. I'm going to put these in our survivor box, I think they're tasty enough. So many compartments, where to put them? How about we just start over here? And it's gonna give a green color to this. Ah! So there we go, our first box is filled. We have the gummy frogs. Next up, how about some squirms? actually never had these before, but I have had sour gummy worms. I think that's what they are. Ooh, and they're nuclear. <laughs> what do they glow in the dark? Why do they call it that? Let's see, gotta open these. They're gonna bring so much color to our box here. Got it, here's our little bag. <gasps> and these must be like those sour ones because I see all that sugar on there. Mmm. Mmm, so good, just like a Sour Patch Kid. Nuclear Squirmies also come in other colors. We get red and yellow, red and blue, orange and green. Woo, these are sour. Let's drop them in. How about we put some here? They're so colorful. Yummy along to the cotton candy Mike and Ike's. Ah, oh, that sounds so, so good. I've had the old-fashioned Mike and Ike's that were all rainbow colors, like fruity ones, but these are pink and blue, just like the cotton candy at the fair. We have to test these. Oh, look at that little cotton candy clown. Whoa. There they are. They're baby pink and blue, cutest colors. Oh, I could smell them from here. They smell so, so sweet. Let's try them both 
at the same time. Mm -hmm. <gasps> you guys, these are probably the best candy I've ever had in my life. They are so good. It's like basically going to the fair, getting a huge fresh cotton candy and popping it in your mouth. This candy tastes more like cotton candy than actual real cotton candy. It's so, so good and buttery. Mm, these are my favorites so far. Yeah, we can drop them in. I'm still eating them. Oh, that's so good there. How about we pop them in right here at the top? Try to get as many as we can. Next time I take a vacation, I'm bringing this box with me. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> and a couple more. Cotton candy ones. Still have so many more. Woo! So many more places to put candy. Let's keep going. For candy up is the Haribo raspberries. Would you look at this, you guys? They look like real raspberries or blueberries. They just look so, so real. Really hard to believe this is candy. Amazing. Let's pop this open. I want to test them. And they're going to bring so much color to that box because of the black and the red. Here we go. Ooh, they're heavy. Here's our fresh picked berries from the farm. <laughs> Just kidding. They are candy. So we get red. This one is like black. And they just look too real to even be candy. They're kind of hard, kind of squishy. Let's try this one first. Mmm, so, so good. Kind of tastes like a blackberry. <laughs> really good. So the outside are kind of like these hard candies, almost like sprinkles. And then when you open it up, there's kind of like a gumdrop inside. Some jelly piece. Tastes really good. Here's the red one. I can show you. They're like red sprinkles. And then inside, we get this chewy candy. Woo, so messy. Mmm, that one tastes like strawberry. Woo, I have berry flakes flying everywhere. Let's pick these babies up and put them in the candy box. These berries are gonna give such a cool contrast to the rest of the things, just because of this black and red color. They are gonna look gorgeous. Looks like there's some fruit in here now. And if you're curious, this is how the box is looking so far, not even halfway filled. Now this next one is so much fun because I have been eating Starburst for years and I'm sure you guys all know what Starbursts are, but these are new, they are the minis. They're so cute, they're tiny, they're unwrapped, you don't have to take all the paper off of there. Let's try. Oh, how adorable, they look like little chiclet gum. Ooh, they're so pretty. So if I didn't know these were Starburst, I would think they were little pieces of gum. So many cool colors. And my favorite Starburst color is the pink one. Let's try it. Mmm. <laughs> Tastes just like the big one that's wrapped in paper. Maybe even a little better. These are so awesome. So you also get the orange flavor. Classic lemon. Cherry. The pink is the strawberry. So those are your four flavors of Starburst. Let's pop them in. Ooh, here's a big container. I'm going to drop these in the side. And pour the rest of the bag. Next up are the Chewy Red Hots. Now, recently I did these on a candy bonanza, and I just want to put them in this box because they are delicious. They are these dark chocolate-covered little Red Hot gummies. They're kind of like cinnamon. They are so, so good. I cannot imagine not putting them in there. They kind of look like milk duds, but when you bite into them, they have this red cinnamon gummy inside. They are just too, too good. If you don't like cinnamon, I don't think you'd like them. But the combination of the chocolate and that, just too, too good. We really have so many gummies going on here. This box can use a little chocolate. Maybe I'll put it right here in the corner. ones are so cute. I actually found them at the Dollar Tree for only a buck. They're called Swirly Gummy Bears and look how cute they look with all those little swirly colors. It says three twisted flavors. And here are those flavors. 
We get Outrageous Orange, Swirly Cherry Blast, and Tropical Twist. Well, I cannot wait to try these. Look at this crazy little bear. He's beating away. Let's do this. Oh, they are so, so colorful. And not only are these swirly twirlies, they are huge. These gummy bears are like three times the size of regular ones. They're super big. Here's the orange. Here's the cherry. And what was this one? Oh, Tropical Twist. Mmm. Ooh, they taste a little creamy, like there's milk or something. And this blue color is so, so weird because it looks like it's gonna be blueberry. It tastes like pineapple. <laughs> Let me try the red one. It's got kind of pink and red swirls in it. Mmm, classic cherries. So, so sweet. These have so much flavor. They kind of taste like fruit juice. And I gotta try this orange one. Tastes like a fresh tangerine. <laughs> really, really fresh and fruity. They are just so fun to look at. Let's put them in. All those little bears look adorable. Right next to the gummy frogs. Love it. If you're in the mood for some sour spaghetti, we have it. Can you believe this? It's another one by Haribo. That company makes all those yummy gummies. This is some sour spaghetti, like spaghetti. Oh, look at this thing. <laughs> Looks like a ball of yarn, and these look so sour. They look like little snakes. Any flavors? I think they're just all twisted, maybe like fruit flavors. Ooh, extra sour. Let's open and see what this is all about. These are the craziest looking candies ever. Can you believe this? They really do look like little pieces of spaghetti, rainbow ones. Mm. And they taste like sour straws. Woo, they are so good. The blue is yummy. Let me try the red. Mm. When this package said extra sour, they were not kidding. So, so sour. Ooh, my mouth is watering. I love them so, so much. I wish you guys could try these. Maybe right over here. Ooh, and there's so many of these. I think I'm gonna make two little compartments just because they're so good. <laughs> I wanna make two of those. Put some here. There they are, those little sour skitties. Add a pop of color to each side of this box. Too cool. How about some six slits? <laughs> six slits are so yummy. I haven't had them in a super long time. Look at that little chocolate caterpillar. They're like these little round balls with candy coating and there's chocolate inside. They're kind of like M&M's, but just shaped a little different. Let me show you. Oops, they're flying. Here they are. So M&M's are kind of flat and oval. These ones are just really round and they're a little bit more crunchy. Mm, let me show you the inside. If you can see, the candy coat is on the out and that little chocolate ball is on the in. Where should we put them? How about right here? Ooh, I like the blue one. Here's an oldie bug goodie, the Happy Cola. Kids and grown-ups love it so. They're these little gummy soda bottles. They actually taste like Pepsi or Coke. They are so, so yummy. I also love that little bear. <laughs> He's been on this kind of package forever. Let's open it. Oh, little soda bottles. Whoa, and it smells like I spilled a bottle of Coke or Pepsi right here in front of me. Smells so much like soda with the bubbles. So here is a Happy Cola gummy. The bottom is brown, the top is like a whitish color. Mmm, and they taste like fizzy soda. So, so good. I know these are chewy gummy ones, but I also love to suck on these. There's so much flavor that comes out. I really, really love them. Put them in there. Squishy little soda. Let's put you in our box. How about right in the front here? Ooh, they kind of look cute next to the six lips. Cherry Bombers. These are the Trolley Cherry Bombers. I've never tried these before, but when I saw them, I just had to get them. 
tiny cherry burst. This bag is awesome looking. <laughs> it's so bright. I love these little cherry bombs. Gonna try this. Ooh, what are these? Ooh, they're like leaking. <laughs> Super sticky. Gross. What is going on with these things? <laughs> they are so, so sticky and slimy. I have cherry juice all over my fingers. They must have some kind of liquid inside. Let's try it. Mmm, these are good. <laughs> they are so, so good. Especially for me because I love cherry. And if you love cherry, you're going to love these. They're kind of like these super soft cherry gummies. And then when you bite into them, there is this cherry liquid inside. It's so, so sour. Oh, they are so good. They're going to make a mess in the box, but I don't care. Putting them in there. These are yummy. And they're so cute because they're in the shape of a little cherry bomb. Ooh, messy. Oh my gosh, look what they did to the table. They are squirting this red stuff everywhere. The cherry bombies are going right in the corner. They are so, <laughs> they're just so, so sticky. We are keeping it moving. We have one, two, three, four, five different slots left, but I only have one candy left, so I'm gonna improvise. I'm gonna go check out my candy cabinet at home, and I'll be right back. I'm back, and our candy emergency is over. I ran out of candy, but I went to my handy dandy candy cabinet. I love keeping all different kinds at home at all times, and I got some. So we're gonna put those alphabet letters in there. I also found some double bubble strawberry and watermelon. We have some bottle caps. Ooh, those are yummy. Those are like soda candies. How cute are these? Some Hello Kitty Pez heads. <laughs> and last but not least, we have some gummy cows. Boop. Let's try the bottle caps. Now these are so old, these kind of candies. They've been around forever. They're like these little circles. They kind of look like the top of a soda bottle and they taste like soda. They're kind of fizzy. We have orange flavor, cola, cherry, grape, and root beer. Let's open it. Well, and as soon as that box opens, it just hits you. It smells like soda. They're kind of like powdery, but they are just the coolest candies ever. And I guess the brown is the cola flavored. There's also a root beer. Ooh, I gotta try that one. Oh, amazing. It, I love root beer, and it tastes just like I took a sip of a can of soda. Mmm. So, so good. These are hard to explain. They're kind of like fizzy, but they're a little bit chalky. They're not too sweet. I haven't had these in years and years, and I'm so happy because I found them again. I have to put them in our survivor box. And I'll put them right over here next to me. They smell so good. I think after, which ones were my thieves? The um, cotton candy ones. These are my second favorite. <laughs> they are so, so yummy. And they have the cutest little pastel colors. Time for a little double bubble. Ooh, and this is actually the first bubble gum we're putting in our box, which is perfect. These are so cute. They look like little watermelons and strawberries. I think I've had them before. They're yummy. Here's a close-up. This is, of course, the watermelon one. It doesn't that look like an itty-bitty watermelon. It's just so, so funny. Let me try this. tastes just like fresh watermelon. It's too amazing. <laughs> I never know how the Double Bubble Company gets these crazy flavors into these little gumballs. Well, actually, they're not so little. They're kind of big. So, let's pop them in right over here. If you love Hello Kitty as much as I do, you are going to love these candies. They're by Pez, and they're called Pez Heads. <laughs> Soft, chewy candy chews. They are 99% fat free, gluten free, vegetarian, gelatin. They're pretty much free of everything. <laughs> I hope they have a little sugar in them though. Ah! Here we go. <gasps> oh, these are adorable. They look like marshmallows. Look at this one. We have Hello Kitty with her little pink bow. Then we have a light pink kitty with a lavender bow. Ah, they smell so, so good. Looking at the back of the package, the white ones, wow, they're strawberry flavored, and the purple ones are raspberry. That is so, so cool. 
You would think this would be like vanilla. That candy tasted just like strawberries and cream. Oh, it was so creamy, almost kind of like yogurt, but the really sweet, yummy one. So, so good. Gotta try the raspberry. The raspberry is yummy too, but I have to say this is my fave. It's also the cutest one with that pink little bow. Oh, I love these little Hello Kitty candies. And we're gonna pop those. Hmm, where should they go? How about right here? They're gonna look so cute there next to the cotton candies. I'll put a couple raspberry, a couple strawberry. Oh, those look so adorable in there. A few more candies left, and I am so excited to see how the final product turns out. These are the Haribo alphabet letters. <laughs> that is so, so cool. I've never seen these before. Oh, look at that little teddy. I wonder if they have all the different letters. They are super shiny and colorful. Ah, these are gonna be good. How cute are these, you guys? They are actually little gummy letters. I didn't think they would be like perfect shaped. We get H, K, what is that one? N or a Z? I don't even know. <laughs> An O, and I wonder what the flavors are. I think they're probably like fruit flavors. Mmm, ooh, these are chewy. Ooh, these are hard to chew. They are so, so good, but they're a little bit on the harder side. Kind of hurt my teeth, but they are just too darn cute. We're still gonna use them. Let's pop them right in next to the berries and next to the watermelon bubble gums. Get a little mix of all the colors. I think they all taste the same. I tried the red and the yellow. They just taste like fruit punch. Put a little green in there, maybe some orange. Cool. Well, we did it, guys. Woo! <laughs> I think we have 17 different candies in total. I'm not even sure how many. I stopped counting a long time ago. But the final one are these Milky Gummy Cows by E Fruity. Look how cool they are. We have like a, what is this, like a yellow and brown. Regular Moo Cow with white and black. We have a pink. I've never tried these before. I want to test one out. Mmm, these are so good. They're called Milky Cow, and I think they're kind of like milky and creamy. They're so good. They kind of taste like yogurt, too. A little bit like those Hello Kitty ones. Mmm, love them. And I'm just going to unwrap these babies so we could stick them right in our little candy box. They look so much cuter out of the wrapper. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Our final little spot in this box is gonna be filled. Let's put a yellow, some pink. I love to make it super colorful. Maybe the cow one and another yellow. Boom. And voila, here it is everybody. Our do-it-yourself candy survivor box. This was so much fun testing out the candies, putting them all in these cute little spaces. And I think this looks so tasty, so amazing. This is perfect, you can give it to a friend as like a birthday present. You can put this out at a birthday party, like on the table, your friends can pick at it. It's even good if you're going on an airplane on a super long flight, you can just have some snacks with you. So many uses, and it's just adorable. What's in here? We have the Starburst, the Milky Cows, some Sour Sketty, we have some Hello Kitty heads, Cotton Candy Mike and Ike's, Alphabet gummies, raspberry gummies, froggy gummies, swirly gummy bears. We have some neon squirm gummy worms, double bubble, some more sour sketty, six slits, gummy cola, cherry bombers. These are chewy red hots, and finally the bottle caps. All that's left to do is close it up, save it for a rainy day, or whatever you want to do with it. Love it. We've reached the end, you guys, with all of this candy. Woo! <laughs> Another thing about this candy box, you don't have to eat it all at once. You could pick on it, close it up, and save it for another day. We are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. This is Bubble Pop Kids. You can click this big red subscribe button here and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. Bye!